Okay, so you're thinking about moving to St. Mary's County in Southern Maryland, and you're just not sure what the bla- All right, so you're thinking about moving to St. Mary's County in Southern Maryland, and you're just not sure where to start. You know, you're looking at California, Lexington Park, and then you come across Leonardtown. Now, what I'm going to do today is tell you some things that nobody else is going to tell you about before you move to Leonardtown, Maryland. <music> All right, what's up everybody? My name is Rob Scowan. I'm with EXP Realty here in Southern Maryland. If this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you scroll down, click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content about moving to Southern Maryland. Also, if you're looking to move to Southern Maryland, and specifically Leonardtown, make sure you reach out to me using the contact information below. Call me, text me, and I'd be happy to help you make your move so much easier to Southern Maryland. And last but not least, if you want, you can scroll down to the first comment, click on the link, and it will schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about your home buying needs. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Like I said in the beginning, today what we're gonna be talking about are things that nobody else is gonna tell you about moving to Leonardtown, and it's gonna make it so much easier to figure out if Leonardtown is the right place for you when you're looking to move to Southern Maryland and specifically St. Mary's County. All right, so a little overview to start out with. Leonardtown is the uh, county seat of St. Mary's County. There's a downtown area. Um, and it's just a really neat uh, semi-rural area. Now, a lot of the information I'm gonna go over today is from niche.com, so make sure you check that out. There's a link down below in the comment that you can go and look at the Leonardtown reviews for niche.com and stuff like that. But a lot of the data and a lot of the facts that I'm giving you today are from niche.com. All right, so let's go and get started. So the very first thing that jumps out to me is niche.com ranks Leonardtown the number two best place to live in St. Mary's County. You know, there's actually, niche doesn't really rank a whole bunch of them. There's actually four that they rank places in St. Mary's County that they rank and being number two, you know, it's, it's still a good ranking, but that's just something that a lot of people notice first when they're looking at this page. Now they do their ranking based on so many different factors and I highly encourage you go in to niche and click on those and really read through how they're ranking the different areas to live. Number two, thing that a lot of people won't tell you is that while there are multiple shopping areas in Leonardtown itself, there's not a lot of stuff to choose from in those shopping areas. You know, there's no big chain besides Food Line for grocery stores. And recently, one of the local grocers that um, was has been in our area for a long time actually shut down its store in Leonardtown too. Um, I do expect something to come in there in the near future. Um, but for the most part, you're looking at different strip malls, except for downtown that does have some local shops and some restaurants as well. So that brings me to number three, and it's about the quaint little downtown area of Leonardtown. Now I see Leonardtown growing. More and more stuff is coming there. More and more restaurants are sticking around and keeping the doors open. You got the Old Town Pub, the front porch, you know, just some really, really good, um, you know, local inspired foods that you can get right there in downtown Leonardtown. And now we have a hotel down there and just other things that are being brought to the area that are making a big difference. It's a cute little town. It is not huge. You can walk from one end to the other. And if you walk all the way down to the other end, you can go down to the Leonardtown Wharf, which is a beautiful waterfront area. So I highly recommend if you're looking at Leonardtown and you're thinking about it and it's on your list, go visit downtown Leonardtown for it first because that's something really unique to St. Mary's County to be able to have that downtown area right by you. All right, so number four, there's a ton of new homes being built in Leonardtown. Throughout St. Mary's County, because of you know the growth that we're seeing, we're starting to see a few more homes being built, newer homes being built. But for a lot of people, or a lot of areas in our, in our region, there are some older homes. Um, but for Leonardtown itself, especially around downtown, there, there's Clark's Rest, which is a brand new development, and it's having more and more developments going in there, and it's mixed between single family homes and townhomes. There's Leonard Grant, Leonard's Grant, which is a little bit older, um, but still considered a newer development. And there's uh, Meadows Town Run, which is a brand new single family home development with more a plan to go behind that too. So I see new homes more often in Leonardtown than I do in any other areas in St. Mary's County. So definitely if you're looking for something that's kind of new or newer, Leonardtown can be a really good choice. Number five goes back to niche.com and it's that Leonardtown schools, schools that are districted in Leonardtown, are number one out of those four top choices. So they have the best public schools according to niche.com in St. Mary's County. Now it really depends on where you are in Leonardtown. You might end up going, having your kids going to Leonardtown Elementary or it could be Banneker, um, Banneker Elementary. You could also have Duke Elementary too. And then it funnels into two different um, 
two different middle schools depending on where you are. Most kids will go to Leonardtown Middle School and then it's Margaret Brent Middle School. And finally, there's two different high schools. Some kids will go to Choptakon High Schools and other ones will go to Leonardtown High School. But go ahead and look on niche.com and search those rankings for those different schools that are in that Leonardtown area and you can get a good idea of what works best for you. All right, so number six is that Leonardtown really is, its slogan used to be the most convenient of places because it's centralized to everything. Now centralized in St. Mary's County still means you have to travel. If you're looking to go to Walmart, Target, or any place like that, and in California, Maryland, you got a 10, 15, you know, if you're really on the outskirts of Leonardtown, maybe 20 minute commute to get there but you're also only 20, 25 minutes away from Waldorf and you're close to base, which is about 15, 20 minutes away too. So it really is centralized to kind of everything that you would want to do around St. Mary's County. And it makes it a really good choice if that's something that's important to you. All right, so the seventh thing I want to talk about is the housing situation. Now, if you look right here, I have niche.com and it's showing the average price point, but something I really want to point out is it's 50-50 rent to own. Now, a lot of people rent in Leonardtown to, you know, because they're coming from out of state, especially, especially military transfers, uh, and they don't want to buy in that area. And homes like single family homes and Leonard's Grant and Clark's Rest really can fetch a big rent point. But there are other options. You know, downtown Leonardtown always has some rentals available, it seems like. And also there's new apartment complexes that are going up around Leonardtown that are serving a much needed kind of niche for people that are looking to move to Leonardtown but don't want to buy. So the last thing I want to talk about today are taxes. Now, especially if you're living in downtown Leonardtown, there may be other taxes that you're not um, you know, gonna pay in other areas in St. Mary's County because you have a Leonardtown city tax as well. So I highly recommend as you start looking at the different houses, you really understand or have a realtor that understands what the different tax amounts are gonna be for the locations that you are in Leonardtown. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful if you have any questions, you're looking to move to Leonardtown, make sure you reach out. Call me, text me, and I'd be happy to help you make that decision and make that process a lot easier. You can also scroll down to the first comment, click on the link, and it'll schedule a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about your home buying needs. And last but not least, if you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the little bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content. Hope to see you on the next video.